could be the next big thing, Kylian Mbappe. And I said, you pretty like a 20-year-old kid. He is a world champion. And Mbappe! Oh, yes! He's really that kind of player who can change the game in one acceleration, one shoot, one idea. He want to play. It's just a game, you know? When Croatia were doing their homework, there's no question the man they would have been most worried about was Mbappe. The entire world was talking about Mbappe. Mbappe! Kylian Mbappe! Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe. Mbappe's got another one! Kylian comes from Bondy, which is in the northeast of Paris. The fact that France's new saviour comes from one of these underprivileged suburbs is a fantastic symbol for modern day France. Killian's father, Wilfred, has worked for AS Bondi, the local football club, all of his life, really. So when his dad or another coach was giving a team talk, he would listen to everything and, it, and he, he lapped it all up. Clairefontaine, I've always been a, a special relation with all these young players coming from a different community, but to be in the same place, close to the champion, close to the top. His education at Clairefontaine was, I think, really important in terms of getting him on track in his football career, but also his academic career, because they take the academic side extremely seriously. And he duly got his baccalaureate in management because after his career, he may well go into to football management. He's already thinking about his, his post-career. In Monaco, he was such a young player, but he already had all the characteristics he still has. Uh, explosivity, super big smile, and very powerful. My first memory of, uh, of Kylian Mbappe, it was an article about the Mbappe father. If Monaco don't give a more opportunity to, uh, to his son, he's going to see and thinking to moving a different club. My father was my agent. When I moved to Monaco, my father said to Monaco, the president of Monaco, that if he don't show more respect, we will move it. It was kind of similar situation. The way he took to Liga initially and then the Champions League also in that season so easily it was unbelievable. In the few months, he's already scored five goals. And I was following, through the story of the father on the newspaper, I was following on screen. I was very surprised because I, we didn't expect uh, this because they have signed a name more before and uh, I think it was uh, a great move. We were still sort of recovering from the shock of, uh, of the Neymar transfer and to sign Mbappe just a few weeks later was absolutely, uh, was absolutely remarkable. A lot of players leave, uh, leave France and leave Paris in order to, to play. And I think Mbappe is maybe he will change uh, the vision of young player in order to stay in France. There was no doubt that Killian was going to be called up for the for the World Cup. He'd burst onto the scene in, in the six months previously. Didier Deschamps um, clearly saw Kylian Mbappe's talent very quickly. We have a lot of young uh, players and uh, Didier Deschamps is the best to take them and to help them to, to grow. When you have Didier Deschamps, everybody is like, okay, I can die for him. Kylian scored his first goal in the World Cup against Peru. A deflection and Mbappe! The youngest ever goal scorer at a World Cup for France. Following the group and everything, I was feeling this harmony between the players, which is the first ingredient of the success. It's the same with our team in 98. We had Thierry Henry and Trezeguet. And I said straight to them, we know that you are, you are 20, but we like it. Be crazy like a 20 year old kid. Not to be bored and boring like uh, like me. <laughs> the World Cup for us, for every French people, uh, began this game against against Argentina. It was very early in the game that Mbappe embarked on that memorable run. I, I never seen something like this in my life. This guy, he started to run, but like it, it looked like everybody was walking. Turn of pace, showing here. Look at this from Mbappe's how back there. 
it wasn't just we're going to take the lead here because we've got a penalty. It was, oh my goodness, with this footballer in our side, we could not only win this football match, we could go a very long way. So this day against Argentina and the scenario of the game, like Di Maria shoot, it was a, a lot of emotions. Oh, what a goal! What a strike! Argentina level! So the second half, France, when they went 2-1 down, it was the only time they were behind in the World Cup. And Benjamin Pavard's goal is obviously a massive part of this game. Pavard! Oh, how about that? Glorious! Benjamin Pavard! And then Killian took everything else into his own hands and he fired France into the quarterfinals. He was actually informed about a tweet from Pele. Pele had said, congratulations on scoring two goals as a teenager in the World Cup. You're in good company. So he was asked about that, but he just sort of shrugged and said, oh, that's really nice to hear. But, you know, I'm not in the same category as Pele. After doing this World Cup, we're like, it's impossible to lose against Croatia. Too many symbols. 20 years after the first French success, Didier Deschamps, who was the captain at this time, too many coincidences. And even though the first half they were they were shaken quite considerably by Croatia, Croatia arguably were the better team with the ball. I think France would have said, "Listen, we're a bit lucky to be 2-1 ahead here. Let's you know step it up a gear. Let's make sure there's no way back for Croatia." And, and that's what they did. And um, Kylian Mbappe, of course, played a part in that. Here's Mbappe! Oh, my word! The first teenage World Cup final goal since Pelé himself! He was breaking all the records with nice attitude, calm, cool. This could be the next big thing. Kylian Mbappe. France! Are the champions of the world. After the World Cup, I think you were more confident on the field and it was more leader. At just 20 years of age, he is a world champion. FIFA Fifth Pro Men's World 11. Maybe Kylian will have the same ability than Ronaldo. He has the same mentality. But there's no question that in terms of a brand, he is sort of carrying the baton once Lionel Messi and Cristiano pass it on to him. He, you know, he, he is the next massive brand in world football, as well as almost certainly being the next superstar, if he isn't already.